the genuine article. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack. Hello, I'm Tony DeMaria, the editor of Jack, here with another edition of Inside Jack. Today what I'd like to do is tell you about a very interesting paper that is about to be published in our journal that comes from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, better known to all of us as NHANES, NHANES 3, that deals with uh, new compounds, it's cystatin C, uh, a marker of renal function and whether or not it's of prognostic significance in patients with regard to both cardiovascular and non-cardiovascular illness. And th this particular paper comes from Dr. Wu and Associates from the NHANES study. Now, uh, cystatin C is, is an interesting compound in, in itself. It's produced by virtually all nucleated cells and at a relatively constant rate. And it's really a very good marker of glomerular filtration rate because it is constantly produced and not dependent upon body mass or some of the other variables that determine creatinine. It's freely filtered at the glomerulus, uh, completely reabsorbed in the proximal tubule and not reabsorbed in the bloodstream and in fact not secreted by the distal tubule. So that cystatin C really comes very close to being a perfect agent for assessing glomerular filtration rate and in that has some advantages over serum creatinine. Now in this particular study, what the investigators elected to do was to look at a group of patients that had normal uh, GFR, normal glomerular filtration rate by creatinine. And in that group of patients, all of whom were normal, uh, to examine whether or not cystatin C levels uh, had a prognostic significance for cardiovascular mortality and, in fact, for non-cardiovascular mortality. And so, as is true in, in the NHANES studies, they looked at a relatively large group of patients, just under 3,000, and these patients ranged in age from 40 and above, so a good age range. Um, they, they divided the cystatin C levels into um, deciles initially and then into thirds. And what they found was that there was about a sevenfold increase in cardiovascular mortality in the lowest decile of cystatin C versus the highest decile. Now, uh, this difference uh, uh, melted away largely when you divided it into middle, uh, lower, and upper thirds. But nevertheless, there was a, a, a linear relationship between cystatin C levels and mortality. This applied also, by the way, for non-cardiovascular mortality. So it would appear that cystatin C really is a very useful marker for uh, cardiovascular risk, even in patients who have normal creatinine clearance. The, the key question, of course, is, is the cystatin C a, a marker of just subacute renal disease that is not being detected by creatinine, or is it a, in some way an independent marker of itself? While we don't have that answer, nevertheless, I think this is a very interesting study and clearly sets the stage for further investigation into how best to use cystatin C uh, as a prognostic marker. For Inside Jack, I'm Tony DeMaria.